right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. This is the first episode of the of the new year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Happy mm-hmm. New Year. Yeah. Uh, so we have a very exciting guest today. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited. <laughs> One of our best friends, Autumn Cornette. Um, we're going to talk about her business. We're going to talk about um, lots of details around her business. But um, before we get into that fun stuff, let's talk about what has happened. I We haven't been here for a, a while, yeah. several weeks. Yep. So lots of life has happened. Yeah. Eli. Let's do it with you guys. <laughs> well, let's see. So uh, we had another kid. Oh wow! That's so we, we, quick. We, yeah, we added to the list. It's uh, seven, crazy. What's that, 778. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we had a great holiday. Um, I feel like we were sick most of the time. Honestly, yep. We, Get it uh, out of the way. What else? Get it out of the way. Well, exactly. Like we ended the year with like okay purge, and <laughs> now we are now we're gonna start fresh. Yeah. I mean seriously, we had the stomach bug, we had strep, we had the flu. And I, Hannah needs to do a better job cleaning. And, uh, <laughs> I, 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 that's what you were thinking. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was food related. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> so, Autumn, just so you know, this is how every podcast is. This is kind of. No, yeah, I we're gonna go I'm just going to sit back and watch. Yeah, this is. <laughs> this um, is Hannah and Jason work out their marital <laughs> problems here, right here okay. in front of everyone. Oh, gosh. It takes a lot longer than an hour. Um, but, so, yeah, but it was great, right? Um, we, one thing I did kind of want to bring up. And this was something that we kind of experienced over the break. We had, so our kids went to, we went to Georgia and then our kids stayed over for a couple of days mm-hmm. with grandparents and we came back here and we had some time off, time off. We had time without kids right? and Autumn Best and Casey couldn't off. hang out with us. So we were able to rub s- it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to shame you. <laughs> but so our other good friends uh, had tickets to a comedy club. Mm-hmm. And we never been to the Zanies yeah, yeah. here. And so we're like, that sounds so fun. Right. We don't have kids, whatever. And we failed yeah. to look at the act. Or like, who, who was it? <clears throat> can you, or you can tell me later. Well, yeah, <laughs> because want. I do not want to. Okay. <laughs> I do not want to market this person. So okay. it was, we were very excited because it was something new we hadn't yeah. done before. And they go all the time. Right. So, um, but they didn't know this one. Mm-hmm. So we were just really excited. It was a couple of days for Christmas. We were all just, you know, out, no kids. Right. And Jason, what was the experience like? Uh, I, this is a family show. I can't. I can't, I can't <laughs> it was that bad. That was not a family show. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah. And uh, of course, our friends are mortified. Right. Because they're like, <laughs> we did not expect this. They're church friends. Uh we know I, I grew up with her, so oh, she, we're yeah, like friends yeah, from yeah, way yeah, back. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's um, even worse. <laughs> it's even worse, right? But I mean, of course, like they had no clue what to expect. Right. But my word, yeah, I felt like I was in hell. Right. Like I'm not kidding you. It was it was awful. Yeah. But what I learned was that like if these ladies and they're all women, right? If they can make a living spreading complete trash. Oh, I know who you said. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. then we can make a living, make an ice cream. Right. <laughs> or we can make a, li- you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like truly anything is possible. Yep. Because if there's a market for that, <laughs> right. exactly. If people paid money to be yeah, there. There was, was over like 200 people there. Yep. Um, I mean, it was, and, and she was there or they were there like more than one night too. Right. Um, it, it just gave me some hope, you know? Mm-hmm. So I really tried to, uh, find some positive energy there. Um, but we left, like we did not stay, um, mm. through the end of it because right. there's just so much you can take, yep. but they worked really hard to be really crude. I mean, it was, it was the same joke. It was, I mean, it was just over. the same thing. Oh, I remember. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, um, so I like to think that from that experience, you know, while I was really surprised to find us in that situation, I right. was happy because I was like, okay, if they can do that. Right. I, I think we can handle this, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. Always. Always with your yes. He's going to come out. Yeah. Know. Okay. Uh, Eli, tell us about your, uh, your travels over. Yeah. Over. So we went back to Massachusetts. Um, it was supposed to be like nine days. It ended up being uh, like, 
14 days. Oh, 15, no, more than that. It's 15 days. So. Oh, wow. So thanks a lot, Southwest. I'll fly you again, though. Um, <laughs> it's something about... They got me. I, they do. <laughs> yeah. I booked a flight, too, um, with Southwest after all of that. Oh, yeah. And, you know, people are like, are you sure you're going to do... I'm right. like... Southwest all the way. Yeah, totally, you know? totally. You're from you're from Texas, so are you a Southwest girl? Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm I'm the cheapest I can find. Whatever girl. you can. Uh, yeah. She's like, um, what is it? Uh, the um, Spirit Airlines. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> no. I draw the line there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to make it there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I had a funny experience a couple of weeks ago. I had these clients come in. And they were like, they fronted really wealthy. Like they showed up in a Bentley. So I feel like they had some, okay. I was like, all right, that's what we're working with. I should have charged them more. No. Um, but we were talking about like holiday travels and stuff. And they were telling me their Florida trip. And they're like, oh, yeah, we flew Southwest and they got canceled. And so then we switched to Spirit and then we switched to Allegiant. I was like, I don't know. Is that a tell of like your fronting? Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. So, Seriously. Yeah, when you get out of that Bentley, we right. were really driving. Right. Is that a, is that a yeah. rental? So. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> never can tell yeah oh man but anyway uh, so yeah it was fun going back home with our family and actually staying longer we we had like two birthdays in the family that we were able to be a part of perfect. so it was good yeah yeah man yeah but i was excited to get back and work because you know it works good because this is fun yeah yeah you missed us I did. basically i did i actually <laughs> think about that a couple days ago i was like i haven't seen them in a while <laughs> So, well, yeah. we're here to just brighten, yeah, yeah. you know, brighten it up. Yep. Um, okay. So speaking of Southwest, I went to, um, went to ice cream school and so, okay, let's just set this up. So we had been working, we've been working with a ice cream consultant for a couple years now, um, just kind of on and off. And he had recommended this, um, course that we needed to take, um, so Jason can kind of learn how the whole ice cream making works. And so we signed up food science course, food science. Yeah. yeah. Let's just clarify what it is so that you can well, understand how it, how it goes down. I sound kind of loud. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I'm it, yeah. yeah, it's food science, but it's specifically ice cream. Right. So he recommended that we sign up. So we signed up two years ago and then it was COVID and then whatever. So this was the year. And as it got closer, we kind of we kind of realized like, shoot, Jason needs to be away for a whole week, you know, and then making his clients, you know, um, arrangements for his clients for that long was going to kind of be a little bit more than we wanted to take a little bit more than we wanted to do. Right. So it was obvious that my schedule was a little bit more flexible. So I was going to have to go to ice cream school and. I mean, I don't know if it was just that I am not, no culinary experience at all, Um, but it was incredibly overwhelming. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, It was great. It was fantastic. I mean, there was a lot of people there, a lot of big brands represented, like Bluebell and Arby's. um, and, uh, And then also like, you know, Boutique brands, Salt and Straw um, from Portland that we really love. Um, and then people from Dubai, people oh, wow. from Singapore. I mean, hmm. this is a very, you know, high, highly respected course. Yeah. Um, and here I am like, I thought we were just going to be tasting, and, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but no, it was, uh, it was amazing. Um, I learned, it was like the molecular structure of milk. and. Golly. Kim, I mean, it was it was physics and yeah. I tried to I tried to like take the varnish off here, but you were like, oh, ice cream's cool. Uh, it's food science. <laughs> Romanticize it. Well, yeah. listen, it makes ice cream. <laughs> I think if I would have imagined, you know, how in depth it would have been. I mean, and there was a test. Yep. Take a test, um, which I passed. Nice. So. This, is, this is why I didn't go to the school. In the yeah, day. I, you know, I think because that I knew there was a test. And I was like, wait, wait, let's get Hannah to go. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. She's, she's way more studious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Than the two, so. Oh, so it was. What was great. your grade? Uh, Jason, was it a pass or fail? Say again. Was it a pass or fail? It was a pass or fail. Okay. Um, and so I passed. I will okay, not tell okay. you by how much because it was very like fractional. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, it was. It was amazing. And and what I learned, though, like coming from the industry I was in before, um, everyone is like 
wanting to share success stories and wanting to share tips and suppliers and things like that. You know, generally you go to conferences and people are kind of all competition, you know, no one really felt like that. Um, and people were really open and friendly and it was great. It was wonderful. So now you have the challenge is I have a certificate, but the challenge is I have to transfer all of this knowledge Mm -hmm. Over to Jason. Good luck. And yeah, I know. I know. Wait, what, what was that? <laughs> uh, no, but it, it really is interesting because, um, I mean, it, it basically is chemistry when you, you know, freeze, you know, however much water is in your ingredients and then you freeze it and all right. that. So, um, so Jason better buckle up because it's coming. They have to mail back the, the materials. Okay. So I'm just going to like, Set it in, in front of him and just say, yeah. test is in one week. Nice. Yeah. And I'm going to say, go make me some ice cream. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how you did. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, anyway, so it was great. Um, so lots of ice cream knowledge. But yep. what I'd really like to talk about is my friend Autumn. Yes. <laughs> Autumn loves that. So Autumn. <laughs> uh, nice. We are, so it's a Spoon Fed podcast. We talk about business owners and small business and kind of how, it all got started because that's where we are. We're just like in the starting stage, the startup. And um, Autumn, we've kind of watched this journey. We met Autumn when we moved here three years ago. And she was our first friend. Um, and so now she has a business that's like flourishing and we're so excited for her. But anyway, so tell us about your business and what you do. Um, and then we'll kind of get into the beginning stages of what it looked like for you. Okay. Well, so the company name is Autumn Cut the Cheese. Yes, it's so I great. I love that. Yes. I knew I smelled something. <laughs> <laughs> um, I Good. specialize in charcuterie boards. So the meats, the cheeses, all the fun stuff that go with it, all the dips and the... The fruit and the the veggies, everything. And you make it so beautiful. I'm telling you what, like I try. It's so great. I try the meat flowers, salami rose. <laughs> meat flowers. So all those great. salami roses. Salami rose. <laughs> it's so good. Family show. <laughs> um, so, Autumn cut the cheese. The best name in the whole world. And that I mean. It's obviously a name that catches people's eye, but it's also like I don't take myself too seriously, right? Was mm-hmm. that your mm-hmm. approach to? Well, I mean, you know me. I can't take a photograph without making a silly face <laughs> in it. So why would I have a serious business name that represents right. my life? <laughs> so good. It's so good. Um, okay, so we kind of knew you before you started this. Mm-hmm. But, like, what happened and what what made you say, okay, this is what I'm going to do? I really want to do this. Actually, it was a nudging of a friend. So doing little boards for parties and um, gatherings was just something I like to do uh, for friends. And then during lockdown, when nobody could go anywhere, that was when we met. Yeah. So you came running and uh, you're doing your laps (laughs) in our neighborhood. And we just started chatting. And I was like, man, I like this girl. And then I found out her husband was a chef. And I thought, oh, my gosh. (laughs) This is... Awesome. <laughs> He's even cooler than her. I know. <laughs> so well, no one ever. it's neck and neck. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the day. Yeah. Um, but so, and then a girlfriend of mine, she lives in Birmingham. Her name's Allison. She texted me one day a picture of this box of charcuterie and said, you should be doing this. Why aren't you doing this where you live? And so I reached out to the lady on Instagram um, whose picture it was and just kind of picked her brain, assured her I'm and I'm not in your market. Right. I just want to ask some business questions. Like, how do you how do you know where to begin? Where do you shop? How do you plan ahead? All these things. How do you store your your goods? So um, that was where it began. I reached out to her and she was so kind and, mm-hmm. and gave me the information I had asked for and wished me luck. And so then I just then my next step was I need to talk to Hannah and Jason because they are because they know they i just i knew the lord had placed y'all in my life for for advice i mean how many times have we for 10 years i mean <laughs> they were start start there with them yeah. i mean how many times have we gone back and forth 
us seeking wisdom from you guys and then you guys coming to us for the same thing. So it's just been this great reciprocal relationship. But um, so then I brought the idea to you guys and just said, how do I do this? And um, I'll just never forget. You said we would love to help you breathe life into this. (gasps) I said that? Yes. See, I'm cooler than you. <laughs> She's so poetic. Actually, I told you that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Tell them this. <laughs> so that was where, that, that's the beginning. And so then it was just, okay, how do I go at this now? Yeah. So I needed to, um, I made, I, I told a couple friends and we were at a party and my friend, my other friend, Caroline announced over the whole party that Autumn had started a business called Autumn Cut the Cheese. Nice. So if you want any charcuterie, call her. That's and awesome. that was where it started. I started That's getting awesome. orders from that point on. I'll never forget my first customer, Meredith Swoboda. So if you're listening. Um, Shout out. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> And she's still a client today. So it just has been, um, it, it wasn't something I planned on doing, mm-hmm. but it just kind of made sense in the moment. And it has grown from there. And so, and prior to this, I mean, you were already like you, you had experience in food service too. So you had Mm -hmm. like done some stuff with catering companies Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. things like that. So Mm -hmm. this was sort of a lane that you felt comfortable in, not necessarily charcuterie, but Mm -hmm. it was a lane that you felt comfortable in, right? Yeah. 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 I did kind of ease into it. Yeah. Well, let's also set it up for autumn too, because she has four kids. Mm -hmm. She homeschools. Nice. Uh, she volunteers like she's, are we going to say how old I am? No, we're not okay. going to go there. Uh, but I will, but she, <laughs> do you want my weight too? <laughs> uh, what I want to make sure is like, also you're not doing, I mean, you are doing boxes and you have a cafe now and everything, but you also do 30 foot charcuterie boards, right? <laughs> like big ones for, artists, uh, mm-hmm. musicians. And, you know, so you really do have a buzz going on about you. It's not just, you know, I just do boxes and, you know, I mean, you really have grown and people have recognized your talent, you know? Well, I hope so. Yes. I mean, it's fun. I, the grazing tables. Yes. They're, those are what I love to do just cause it's got that huge punch to it and right. everybody just is like, Very is blown visual. away. Yeah. It's yeah. fun where you do a box and then only four people see it. Yeah. Well, well, and you, it's shareable. People have really gotten into really taking, you know, these photos and sharing them. And, mm-hmm. um, and your, I think your name helps like people kind of set me apart. Set, yes. That was what I wanted because when right. I started doing some research, it was boards by so-and-so right. or charcuterie somebody and, or some kind of, you know, brie, whatever. So I just, I wanted to be set apart and and be memorable. Right. And I had I had two names that I had narrowed my ideas down to, and my one of my brothers is in marketing, and I asked him, <clears throat> excuse me, um, <laughs> which uh, which do you like? Uh-huh. He was behind the whole Chick Fil A eat more chicken. So like, okay, I think I can trust his opinion. Right. And he was like, hands down, Autumn cut the cheese. So mm-hmm. Like. Psh- What's that other one sucks? Yeah. <laughs> well, it just creates a buzz, you know, it just is a talking point to, um, so I think it's great. Um, so did you have, like, I know you said it didn't, um, you didn't plan for it to be come the way that it is, but did you want to be a business owner? Did you feel like there was something that you kind of wanted to fulfill with that? Not necessarily. Um, so Casey, my husband, is an entrepreneur and a small business owner. Mm-hmm. So was his father. So it's kind of just this culture that's already in our family. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't too far of a stretch for, for me yeah. to go that direction. Um, but I just always saw myself as a stay-at-home mom and a homeschooling mom and, you know, the the home cook. And just the more I enjoyed the chi- – not the chicken – the kitchen <laughs> – and yeah, the I mean, chicken. Chicken's great, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, just the more I became at ease in the kitchen and learning, and um, it it was something I, I enjoyed doing. And, I, and when I started cooking for a caterer, I thought, wow, I can – I like doing this and I can make a little money at it. Mm-hmm. It's hard work, but I enjoy it. Right. It doesn't feel like work when you like it. Exactly. I think we've said that before. It's like when – it just – come so naturally Mm -hmm. it's like it doesn't feel like work and I know that sometimes that could be a little cliche Mm -hmm. but it really is the truth Mm -hmm. you know because when you feel 
like this is something that's easy. It comes easily yeah. to you. Yeah. Um, so, so you, okay. So we started, you started with just like kind of word of mouth kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you now have a cafe. Uh, what was the time between you were like, okay, I'm just kind of doing this on the side. And then what kind of led up to you having your cafe? Well, so we have some friends who own Nashville olive oil company and they approached us about, they were about to lose their lease in Columbia. So mm-hmm. they've, that was their third location. So they've got one in Spring Hill, one in downtown Nashville, and one in downtown Columbia. And then the one in Columbia was about to, their lease was going up. Mm. And so they were looking for a new location. And they said, they approached us and asked, are you in, have you thought about having a storefront? If so, would you like to go in on a, on a brick and mortar with us? Mm. Um, and at first I'd, thought they were crazy and just no I don't I don't that's not anything I'm looking to do right now um but it was a few over a few months I kind of chewed on it and then just said we'll just I left it as let me know what you find Mm -hmm. and then we'll 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 talk you don't want to close the door yet Mm -mm. yeah and nothing happened for a couple months and then uh it was first Friday of September in 21 and which is a big deal in Columbia first Friday come down (laughs) um live music and um she said okay, I'm, I'm, I'm standing in this one location. Can you come meet me right now? Which was three minutes from my house. So I, I ran down there real fast and looked at it and I really had to, um, see through and beyond what was there, but it had potential and the, the, but the, um, the rent was very reasonable. Mm -hmm. Um, what we would need to invest was very minor. So I just needed them to then talk me into it. Right. <laughs> and so that, so then the two days later on Sunday, I had them over for dinner because they said, well, let's, let's really talk about this. Let's flesh this out. What would it take for you to do, to say yes to this? Yeah. Cause they didn't actually need me. I think they just, they, they saw, um, the potential of a good partnership. Yeah. And, um, so then we, we sat down on that Sunday evening at my house and talked about it. And I mean, we basically ended the, ended that dinner with, okay, we're doing, doing this. It. Yeah. And I was terrified. I never saw myself opening up a, a restaurant. Mm-hmm. I mean, does it fall? It does it fall in that category. Yeah, you, you come, you order, I, you get food. Of course. It feels like, I, I feel like it doesn't fall in the restaurant category. I don't know. But anyway, you don't give yourself enough credit. Yeah, it's a cafe. Cafe. And a cafe is a restaurant. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I feel like it's like more like a lunch bar Autumn, or something. You have arrived. Oh, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> you don't give yourself uh, enough credit. It's, <laughs> so anyway, it's just then it became, oh, my gosh, now we're doing this. What mm-hmm. do I uh, who do I call? Who do I know that can help me make decisions on things that I'm going to need, things that we need training for? I mean, all yeah. I didn't the things I didn't I didn't know what I didn't know. Right. So that was overwhelming. Um, so that was so that first Friday of September, I think, was like the third and I, we worked our butts off and we built a little kitchen area. We ordered all the equipment. Um, we've made relationships with food suppliers, got every, got the health department in there, the fire marshal, everything that we were supposed to do. And it just all came so easily. It wasn't as a, it wasn't as scary as it seemed it would be right from on the front end. Mm-hmm. Like it was just these little steps. Okay. I can do that. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Now right. I'll do the next one. And so I just walked through it, and by November 4th, we were open. I just love the story. So, I mean, it really – and we talk about this, too. It's like it, whatever the right next step is, you know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when you take too big of a leap, it feels intimidating. And it's like, oh, shoot, you know. But, like, typically if you kind of follow the path, it really is just the next step. Mm-hmm. It's not as overwhelming as you think. And if you had known what all needs to be done, would you have – you know, said yes, you know, if you would have known what you didn't know, know, all the scary things that kind (laughs) of stand in your way. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so how do you feel like the business has sort of fed you in like a figurative way, like being surprised by what you're capable of, you know, I'm sure has been enlightening, you know, and kind of given you a little bit of, um, a sense of confidence or, you know, just fullness that you didn't know that you needed. Mm -hmm. Well, I just love to serve. I love to feed people. I love, I mean, you, do you love to feed people? Or do you just love to make the food? (laughs) I I, want to cook it. Leave me alone. I I don't care if you like it or not. No, I love to see people be happy with what I've made for them. Mm. And so 
I, and I'm seeing that I'm I, in the boards that I do in the, the paninis and the salads that I mean, I'm, I'm making these things up, you know, cause they're, they're on my menu. I haven't looked at other menus and tried to copy or mimic somebody else's. I'm trying to be unique in things. Mm-hmm. And, um, I just, and I, and to see that joy on people's faces and the return business, yeah, it really feeds me. Right. Yeah. Well, and also your side of your sense of creativity, you know, I mean, I'm sure like being a mom, being a whole, like you're very creative. I know that. And you're a lot of fun, but like now you get to share that with a lot more people, you know, it's not meant to just stay in your house, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Um, okay. So what I also love about this is that your husband, Casey, that we love very much, um, has been really your biggest cheerleader mm-hmm. and he's the marketing guy. He's you know, after you guys. Of well, course. <laughs> he gets, he gets first place, but, but I love that he is. So he's, he's sort of working with you, right. Mm-hmm. To grow the business. Yeah. And so how is that, you know, cause sometimes you get kind of like, you don't want to work with your spouse mm-hmm. or, you know, there's some challenges you kind of have to work through. I think if we had done this, any earlier in our marriage, Mm -hmm. it would have probably not been the right time. It would have been more difficult, but we're at the age now where we know our lane. Yeah. 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 You know, and I know his strengths Mm -hmm. and he knows mine and he know he understands where I'm weak and I know where he is. So, uh, that really helps us move forward and be a team because then we can, um, complement each other. Right. And we can, we can do this together. And he is, a brilliant businessman. He knows how to market. He knows how to do the finances, like all the yucky stuff that I don't want to touch. Right. He's in there doing it. Yeah. So, and I'm, I'm back there coming up with a new panini or (laughs) I don't know, whatever, but it, he knows that makes me happy and he knows that that's where I am excelling and I know where he can, where he is, um, where he is talented. Yeah. And we it's just a good compliment. Balance. It is. Yeah. It, but like I said, it if we had tried this five years into our marriage, mm-hmm. ten years in our marriage, it would have crashed and burned, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, I think we didn't know ourselves enough then. Right. Yeah. Well, like, exactly. Like there's a humility, you mm-hmm. know, to know that like this is not an area that I'm I'm just strong in. You know, this mm-hmm. this is kind of where you kind of help fill yeah. in the gaps. Yeah. And I'm okay know? with admitting a- that. Admitting it. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So, I definitely think I mean, we learned that too when we first started working together. It was it was not cute. Like it was not cute. <laughs> you, weren't, you guys weren't chipping Joanna? <laughs> no, not at that point. No. I mean, we had to go through, you know, a little bit and But well, when did Chip and Joanna <laughs> become Chip and Joanna? Right, right. Well, you know? exactly. Um and she talks about that in her book too where like oh, okay. they both kind of have to they, um, you know, had to find their rhythm, you know, and I mean, I know you don't work directly with your wife or your right. wife's not in the business, but like she brings yeah. such a, um, a good element, a balancing agent, you yeah. know, to, to the business. And, yeah. um, I think it just helps strengthen things overall, you mm-hmm. know, when you're working on something together and watching it grow. Um, so, so what has kind of like surprised you since you didn't really intend to get, into a business that was like an actual business or, you know, you didn't foresee what has, you know, come to fruition, but what do you feel like, like the good and the bad, what has sort of surprised you? Well, just that we're here, that it didn't crash and burn. Yeah. You know, right away that there has been some longevity to it. Mm -hmm. So, and that I continue to grow Yeah, and that we have even more growth plans. Mm -hmm. So that, that part has surprised me. I wouldn't have expected it seemed like it was just going to be a little fun little thing I did for a summer, right? You know, right. but it's it hasn't, and that has surprised me. Mm-hmm. And and opening up a, a restaurant that I never, never mm-hmm. saw myself opening up a restaurant. <laughs> that was just something that I thought other people did. Yeah, right. Pe- people like Jason that are like extremely talented, and I mean, I just feel like I'm in his shadow. You know, like uh, there's yes. no. I haven't There's no listen, comparison. He's not in the ring yet. Yeah, you're and playing. Think, I'm not even playing. Yeah, so I think that, you know, this is something that we struggle with too. And, like, we've kind of been very transparent on this podcast. But, you know, we're we're not there yet. And it's almost to the point where we're like, are we being too intentional that we're not intentional at all? You know, we're like, we're overthinking like the whole thing. You're yeah, overthinking Yeah, and we're overthinking it. Um, but you know, we have had businesses that have failed. So I think that that has contributed to 
you know, the intentionality of, you know, how we're moving forward. Um, and, you know, so, so we have been in those situations where we've crashed and burned and we don't want to go back there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, um, you know, I think, uh, it happens. I think it, it comes to life for people different in different ways, you know, but what I love about your story is that, you know, you just, you just went in, you're like, yeah, okay, we're going to sign this lease, you know? (laughs) And, um, and you knew you had something to offer. I think that that is sometimes hard for you to admit or accept, but like you do. And it's obviously, you know, a huge trend, not really even a trend anymore, but charcuterie is such a entertainment thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it really does bring people together and, um, Anyway, so I think it, it's really a unique kind of business model, you know, that um, we've seen a lot of similar businesses not do it as well as you. Oh. So well, thank you. Um, so speaking of growth, what, what does growth look like for Autumn Cut Cheese? World domination. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's a lot of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting a lot of cheese. <laughs> um, well... We don't have exactly um, things set in stone yet, but we know we want to attempt drop shipping. Mm -hmm. Like that is something that we are seeing. uh, We've had several requests on through um, through our email Mm -hmm. or our email website. (laughs) Um, The website people sending faxes and stuff too. The emails (laughs) Um, and asking. I need, can I get 20 boxes sent to Pennsylvania? Mm. Awesome. Or can I get 10 boards sent all over the country to different clients? Yeah. Like corporate gifts okay. kind of a thing? Yeah. So, and I'm, I I do see online there are companies doing that, mm-hmm. but I want to know if I can do it better. I love it. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that that is the key, right? Is that like finding someone who is doing what it is that you want to do. Mm-hmm. And how can you replicate it? You know, how can you learn with the, learn from them? And I love that the woman in Birmingham, you know, was able uh, was willing to share mm-hmm. with you, mm-hmm. um, you know, any tips or tricks. And I think that that's just man, like all there is to it, right? I mean, you can connect with someone who has something to to share with you, you know, because as we like to say, it's feeding others and also getting fed, and it's mm-hmm. that reciprocal kind of relationship. But um, I think, you know, like Harry and David or, or some of these other like national brands, yeah. you know, that do stuff they like do this. It. Yeah. There's a, there's a way to figure it out, you mm-hmm. know? Um, and your husband is, is the man to kind of like dig into it all oh, yeah. and figure it out. And that's where the, where we try to, we almost butt heads sometimes. Uh-huh. Like if we're going to argue about imagine. something, it's Shopping. that where he's like, well, I know there's a way. Yeah. And I'm, <laughs> I'm like, well, they're already doing it. That's the way. Right. And he's like, no, I know there's a better way. Yeah. So now I have to figure this out. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it, it all kind of comes back to what it, what is it that you want to achieve? What do you want to see for this? You know, is it a national brand? Is it, you know, something that, um, you know, other, another brand similar is doing mm-hmm. that you feel like you can adapt and, and grow as well. Um, and just keeping it, you know, custom to you and, but also staying aware of what others are doing, you know, cause, um, if your business, plan was to just be a cafe, a local kind of home, hometown place, then that's great too, you know, mm-hmm. cause a lot of people really appreciate what you're doing. And mm-hmm. obviously, you know, mm-hmm. cause you're still in business. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that I look at it as two, almost two businesses under one name. Mm. So the charcuterie, whatever that direction is, it's going in and then the cafe. Okay. So we've got we love the cafe. It's like a little baby for us that we're still trying to teach it how to walk, you Mm -hmm. know, and, and it's getting there. Um, but we would love it to expand the other direction. We just love to see where that could go and how big that could become. And yeah, you know, anything, everything's on the table. What, what can we, how can we make that happen? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, you know, getting your voice out there with mm-hmm. people like us mm-hmm. that have a national reach mm-hmm. in their right. podcast, right. <laughs> global, West, West Coast to East Coast, worldwide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm looking at the feed now. I've, yo, I got a comment in Korea, <laughs> Singapore. Oh For the record, uh, he's pointing at Hannah's cup. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's so good. So we talked about. Um, we did bougie boards. Mm-hmm. We talked about that a couple episodes ago, which that I would love to try. 
the um, what was it feta whip feta? Yeah. Hey, hey, they can become an item for your cafe. There you go. For a it's, small it's, price. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How can I do it better? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just spell bougie different. <laughs> no. Bougie okay. Better. So there I is had a bougie boards charcuterie in um, Spring Hill Thompson Station. Oh, mm-hmm. They took mm-hmm. it for me. Mm. They probably listened to the podcast. Around a while. They went to my class. Wait, that's their name? Mm-hmm. Yes. That is so funny. Mm-hmm. We were original, I promise you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think she spells it the same. It might be Well, B-O-D-U-J-E I spelled it wrong. Did you? Like yes, that? I did. Oh, man. It's so How is it spelled? It's Does so anybody know? Humiliating. I have no idea. So I spelled it boogie. Boogie? <laughs> boogie boards? And that's it awesome. is not spelled. <laughs> that's, that's not boogie boards. No. <laughs> So humiliating. Kind of ocean twist. You know? <laughs> yeah. Comes a little music on the side. There's some uh, crab on there. You know? I spelled it wrong. <clears throat> but That's it's B O U G E E, I believe. B-O-G-E. It's bougie. That yeah. makes sense. So, anyway. Um, but that, that's, that, that's funny. I challenge that. Yeah. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. You guys continue. I think there's a J in there. Maybe maybe, an maybe there is a J. Yeah. No. Anyway, my brother, who's 19, um, pointed out that Boogie I didn't boards. spell it correctly. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, I think it's B O O J I E. Maybe that one. J and I. Yes. I what I say? Look at there. Yeah. Always wanted bougie dogs. Yeah, yeah. So that's always. But then yeah. wait, hold on. There's a B O U G E E. Mm, I think it's what you want it to be. I yeah. like the J and the I. It just sounds good because the has way I. I did it though was definitely wrong. Oh, see, yeah. I thought it was B O U. G I E. That's on there oh, that too. Is? Oh, okay. So I mean. Okay, so maybe I want to totally. Nobody want, knows how to spell. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you want. It's Biden's it's, America. Yeah, <laughs> arbitrary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so great. Um, so, yeah. Well, uh, Autumn, this has been so good. Um, so tell all of our listeners worldwide mm-hmm. where they can connect with you so they can find out what you're doing. Well, I'm on Instagram, Autumn Cut the Cheese, autumncutthecheese.com, my website where you can place orders. Uh, send emails about inquiries for parties, Love it. gatherings, whatever, for grazing tables. Um, and then my cafe, I'm at 108 West 7th in downtown Columbia. Nice. Love it so much. And you also teach classes. I, teach I forgot classes to mention too. that. Yes, I so do. She teaches I have my how charcuterie to 101. Yes. That's great. Meat yeah, roses the, the meat and tulips. stuff. Meat tulips. <laughs> Salami rose. Salami yes. rose. Yeah, I, go, I make it super nerdy and geeky. I go into like the history and the processes of each of the meats and cheeses and bore people to tears, I'm sure, while they're waiting to eat. But I love that part. Can you give us a brief history of bougie boards? Or not bougie boards, charcuterie boards? Yes. Um, no. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> can, actually, can you spell charcuterie? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I can. My Actually, my phone autocorrects. I said... I texted my mother something about checking out something and it put charcuterie something. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> I assumed I was trying Wait. to spell charcuterie. That's, so funny. That's how you know you're in the industry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, okay. So w- I think we should probably round out the conversation with it's a new year. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I love a word. Mm. So new year, new word. Oh, boy. Here and we go. I gave you time to think <laughs> about this. Yeah. And I gave you a and word. Bougie. Like it. So, <laughs> bougie. Bougie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it was a bougie. Bougie. You're bougie. This year. Um, every year is bougie for Jason. Um, so no, just like, you know, not being too philosophical about it. Just be like, okay, what do you want to see for ourselves, our business this year? You know, and you know, if you don't hit it, if you don't set a target, then you, you know, are shooting for nothing. Right. Like, is that how this goes? That's not how it goes. Yeah. But that has nothing to do with the word. I think it's aim yeah. small, miss small. There you go. Yeah. That one. But no, I I think so, because here, I'll give you an example. Last year, I didn't have like this overarching word or like idea of how I wanted to see the year play out. Mm -hmm. And then when we experienced things that were really hard or things that were really painful and unexpected, I didn't come back to this idea of, okay, how can I how can I look at this situation through this lens? You know, and I think if I had. I might have had a different experience and I might have had a little bit more of a healthier way of going through those situations, you know? So for example, I got laid off last year. Right. If I had a word, be like, okay, well, how could this contribute to the, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm trying to manifest this like positive yeah, yeah, yeah. energy around things that we know are going to not go our way. Right. But if I can kind of set it up in a way that's like positive, then then maybe I'll experience it a little differently. Yep. Okay. 
So you want me to go first? Yes. Okay. I so. <laughs> yes, <please. laughs> okay, so my word is progress. Nice. Okay, and it's not like a super deep or anything. It's just like whatever happens, however this year is going to come. Now, obviously, I'm going to be intentional and there's some things that I you know, want to see, but I'm going to look at it as progress. I just don't want to feel like I'm, you know, reverting or going back and, you know, not moving forward or advancing. So that's going to be my word. There's a guy that I think I mentioned before, but I really like, and he says, if you're not embarrassed at where you were a year ago, then you're not progressing. And so I know (laughs) embarrassed. Mm -hmm. I don't like that word. Or if you are, maybe it says, if you are embarrassed at where you were a year ago, then, then you're progressing. So maybe yeah, it's like, yeah. okay. You're, you're still laid so. off. So I mean, I think you were, we're doing great. <laughs> I'm progressing. Oh, okay. So you're not laid off. You, you're selling houses. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, well, so you know. Entrepreneur now. Yeah. I am self-employed. It's French for laid off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So who else has a word? Eli, I know you have a word. I don't have a word, but I have a concept. Okay. Um, so maybe you can help me figure out a word. Um, so this kind of, I kind of got this from my brother-in-law. So if he's... Definitely if he's not. listening, he's, he's definitely listening. listening. Oh man! <laughs> um, but he, so he's got a cool story. He's like went through really hard life, like a lot of stuff, and uh, and he kind of decided a couple years ago to start a business. And so he's seal, he li- li- live in Rhode Island, and so okay. he does seal coating in the summer, plowing in the winter, and they're just crushing it. Wow! But he said one of the things that he really like had to focus on was going from being a job owner to a business owner. And I was like, wow, that's really good. So, what a- so instead of like, I do this, this is all me, this is me, 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 me. Yeah. It's like I have this team, this business of people that okay. we all do this. And so I, I love like, that. It's yeah. such a mind shift. Yeah. You know? Yep. I so, like that a lot. So I don't know if there's a word for that. But yeah. I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. My, Who's next? My guest. I'm going to steam guest. Ladies first, for okay. sure. Right. For sure. Well, so I struggled with three, okay. and I think I landed on one. Mm-hmm. Retirement. Nice. <laughs> yep. Security in my retirement. Yep. I mean, we're in our mid-40s, y'all, so that's, you know, it's something we should be... Security, yeah. Oh, you know, not, not just aware of right now, but actually actively working towards mm-hmm. that goal. Do you feel like thinking... Okay, again, this is why I feel like this is so important. Thinking in the frame of... What I'm doing right now is feeding this other thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it helps you move through a little bit easier. You know, it's like, it's not just, I got to get this, got to get this, you know, got to do this. It's, it's helping feed this other thing that's important to you, you know? Mm -hmm. So it really helps, you know, the pressure off. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Retirement. Retirement. Yeah. Yeah. So responsible. (laughs) Okay, so it's your age. turn. You got to come. Okay, I really had one. It was it was focus. I okay. mean, it's go. just kind of going into the year. I mean, it's just, I don't know. We don't really have um, the energy. Not energy. I said the resources to kind of don't embarrass to me here. lose <laughs> focus. I, like I'm not chasing a vacation this year. Yeah. I'm right. not chasing anything like um, to relax or to. I mean, I want to relax at a point in my life, of course. Uh, but this year, really, kind of just clear distraction Mm. and go with focus. Uh, I mean, we started this podcast to get focused on what we're doing. um, And so I really want to invest into that all the way this year. I like it. I like it. It's good. There's a lot of focusing and progressing, progressing happening over here. (laughs) Progressively focusing. And and whatever my thing is. (laughs) Is that leadership? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah. Good. Or that Dave Ramsey entree leadership. Mm-hmm. Is that, is that, I think you made it's a good podcast, up. actually. I'll check mm-hmm. it out. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's all we have to Y'all ready feed for the awkward today. ending? Here we go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's not awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I thought you said opera ending. Opera. Like, oh, that's kind of cool. That would right? be cool. That could be Thank a twist this week. You. See? It's not yeah, awkward. Oh, and then two good. seconds later, he's singing opera. And then he opera. makes it. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> listen. Jason is for sure going to make sure that he, you know, makes us all feel comfortable. That's right. <laughs> and just do what I can. <laughs> Focusing on it. All right. <laughs> Stay hungry. Everyone. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Oh.